I'm so excited to share with you our quarantine project. I'm doing this honeycomb vinyl tile flooring and it literally only costs $100. So half a quarantine day and $100. I'm gonna have a new floor that looks professionally done, <laughs> hopefully. But I did get a quote from um, someone to lay tile in here and it was gonna cost like $1,200. So for way less and you know, a project that I can be proud of because I can say I did it myself. It's gonna be way worth it. So, um, this is the tile I got, honeycomb style. It's super cute. I'm so excited to do it. Um, basically, it's a peel and stick, and I'm gonna show you some tricks to do to help it stay, to make it easier. I did some troubleshooting for you, um, so you don't have to go through the problems that you know I found. So. Hopefully it's helpful to you if you want to end up doing this project yourself at home. I think anyone can do it. You don't have to be professional. Um, you may have to be a little bit of a perfectionist, but even so, I'm sure it'll turn out fine. So here's another option. This is what I initially ordered, but I didn't order enough. And then they were out of stock on Amazon. So um, luckily Lowe's had this other kind that I actually like better. So I'm excited to use that. It's gonna be a little more work because it's thicker, it's harder to cut a little bit, and it needs to be grouted, um, but that's fine. It's gonna be worth it. But if you wanna do something super easy, this doesn't have to be grouted. You butt it up against each other. It's peel and stick as well. Um, you just take off the backing and easier to cut because it's a square. So um, that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna show you some tools that you need. Yeah, so the tools that you're gonna need, I need my helper. Can you show me the first tool that they're gonna need, please, sir? Go to get this stuff. No. I have a little helper today. Oh yeah, let's show them the first thing that they need. Okay, tape measure. What else? You're gonna need um, this knife, or I'll show you two other tools that you could use in place of this that it's gonna be a lot easier. Um, it cuts really easy, but some are thicker than others. You're going to need this square. square, that's what it's called. Um, yeah. So this is the next tool that you can use. Um, it's really good at shaping things. I'll put a link below to everything. Um, but for instance, you put it up against the toilet and just push. It gives you the shape that you need so you can trace it. So there's that. So the next the next thing you'll need is the vinyl tile grout. So make sure you get the vinyl grout. Um, there's only a few colors to choose from, but that's what you're gonna need. And then something else that's gonna help. Okay. Get it from mommy. Thank you. Is the stick and stay. So that is gonna help adhere the tile down so it does have an adhesive on it but if you read the reviews everyone complains it doesn't work I don't know what their problem is because all you have to do is either heat it up with a heat gun so you need a heat gun um, or you can use this I am kind of doing both just to be extra safe but when we did this line last night I did a trial and error for you guys so this line last night was the glue and it is super stable it's not coming up it's not bubbling it's it's there to stay and then there's a back row we did with the heat gun and same it feels really stable um and it's not going anywhere even though we still have to grout it so basically i just heat it up with the heat gun don't get too close just like a hair dryer um if you stay on it too long it will melt in one spot so just move it around just like you would blow dry your hair until it um, gets hot and you push down because it's going to heat up the glue underneath and make it adhere better. So that's a little trick that we learned and it's super helpful and it's really easy. So oh, one more tool that we need or one more item. Can you bring me that please? Sure. Okay, so we're going to need the spacers if you're going to grout it. So some of them are groutable. You don't have to grout all of the options out there, but the one I got is Groutable, so you'll need the spacers. We did a one um, eighth inch spacer. I'm gonna show you two ways to cut it and then we'll get to laying the tile. So 
Okay, so these are the two tools that you can use. One is this contraption that looks like a medieval device. This is an actual vinyl tile cutter. So um, this is the one you're supposed to use, but this is also a backup paper cutter. Uh, actually, it's working for me. It's just, you know, it may not cut paper well after you cut a bunch of vinyl tiles. I don't know, so full disclaimer. Um, but if that's all you have, you could try that, or you could try the knife and just do it by hand. But I feel like this is gonna make it easier and straighter when you cut. So I'll show you how to use this one. So you do need to really hold on tight to it because it'll it will shift it a bit. Um, so if you have two hands, like I mean you have two hands, but if you have an extra pair of hands, someone can help you hold it still. And please do not cut off anybody's hand or fingers. So um, you want to go faster with it if you can because it won't cut as clean. I feel like so. Just push down like so. cut nice clean cut so that is uh, the best tool to use it's about $50 at Home Depot I'll put links to everything um, but another option is paper cutter I'll, I'll show you how that works you kind of have to hold on even tighter with this one to make sure it doesn't move but um, I'll show you you want it closer here and I try to cut down the middle you hold real tight and push push it against the back, but it still moves. I'm trying to push it as hard as I can. So that's how that one cuts. So, it's gonna make it go way faster if you use one of these tools, so. So another way to cut it is to score it, and so what you'll do is you'll measure uh, the piece that you need. You'll use some sort of straight edge, um, hold tight down on the tile and the straight edge so it doesn't move and you'll take your knife and you'll push down and you will just cut it and then it should if you push hard enough cut deep enough to where you will just be able to bend it a bit and it will break off like so So we're doing the toilet area, and one thing I forgot to tell you is to cut off the um, the caulking that's around here. You just cut it off, and that way you can move the toilet and just put the tiles right under it. So. So yeah, we got all the tile down, one more cut, um, and now I'm going to go through with the heat gun and um, heat up the adhesive that is already on the tile. 
um, to make it extra sticky and then let it dry overnight and we'll do the grout tomorrow. So this is what you'll do with the gun. You'll just have it about an inch and a half away from the tile and then just go back and forth. Don't leave it in one spot too long. And make sure you get the edges really good. Because you want the edges to stay down. And it kind of starts to smell a bit. So you might want to wear a mask if that bothers you. Um, not sure if it's toxic. But then that's all you do. Um, and then you can feel it's going to be warm. And then I'll just push down on it. Push down on the edges. And then it is extra sticky. And it should be super firm tomorrow once it all dries. So I'm going to go through and do all that. And then we will grout tomorrow and then we'll be done. Okay, so it's been a couple days and the tile is sticking really good. It's not moving, it's really stable. So as long as you use the adhesive and the hot gun, you're gonna be good. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this tile was really hard to cut. Um, the shapes that you needed for the edges. So if you do the square ones, it's gonna be super easy. But if you're like me and pick the most complicated things, gonna be a little harder but it's definitely doable and it's definitely worth it I love how it turned out um, if you watch the video you'll see that I kind of stopped using the spacers so um, it actually is a little easier not to because you have to adjust them to make them even if you're counting on the spacers the whole time you're gonna kind of have unevenness going on because the wall is not straight and I don't think every one of these is exactly the same, um, but you won't be able to tell once it's all down. It's just when you're in the middle of it, just kind of eyeball it, I think is the best way. That's um, what I ended up doing and I think it looks fine. So yeah. Um, another thing is that cutter. The cutter was not the best cutter. I mean, it worked, but if you can find a better one, uh, I would suggest that. It's, it kind of, I guess, bent some of the tiles, like the blade wasn't sharp enough. So um, I kind of went back and forth between that and the paper cutter. And then for the edges, we had to sometimes go back and use the blade. So um, it's just kind of trial and error, whatever works for you. Um, just know that your walls won't be straight. So if you're a perfectionist, you want to measure it all out. But if you don't care, then just eyeball it. Um, now all we have to do is grout it, and so I'm going to show you how to do that real quick, and then we will be done. So you might need a bucket of water as well. I'm just using my sink because it's close. Um, but you'll just take your putty knife, get some of the grouts, and then just put it in the cracks. They make a special tool for this. Um, I don't have it, so I am just improvising. Make sure it's all the way in there and even. And then before you move on to the next spot, you're supposed to wipe it down with a wet sponge. Um, so I'll do that in a minute. I mean, this is a tool you can use too. I feel like it's too big and it's kind of just cumbersome and I don't know, I just wasn't liking it. So it's just whatever works for you. Um, but they do make a smaller version of this. It's kind of like a combo between these two. I wish I had that, but we're just gonna make do with what we have and then you'll wipe it down. I 
I'm not like a professional or anything, but this is just goes to show you that you can do this. You can do this with vinyl tile anyway. So you'll wipe it like that and then maybe get your sponge wet one more time and wipe it down. Okay, everyone, so to be honest with you, I grabbed the whole thing white and then I instantly regretted it. So it chiseled out the grout and I regrouted it all with the gray. So I ended up using this light gray, it looks like this, and I love it. Like it turned out perfect. I wish, you know, I didn't make a mistake, it's a little embarrassing, but hopefully you can learn from this video and not make the same mistakes as I did. But um, the reason I took it out is because the contrast was a little too much for me. It just wasn't flowing. And then also I just kept picturing it getting yellow um, and dirty and hard to clean. So and there's still a contrast and it flows really well. And it looks like real tile. And I'm super happy with my project for under $100. And hopefully, you know, you can do it too. So I'm going to show the afters with the gray grout. 